All right. I will tell you now about my high speed chase. And it happened in the first video. I've already spoken about it. Um, so I will not talk about that. I actually wanted to tell you guys about um, my nice new big windows that I didn't tell you the truth. Um, I didn't even know about till tonight. I didn't even think to put two and two together that the curtains were um, uh, blocking some sort of a window. So I have this nice big giant window. Let's see if I can do a camera flip. Um, I wish I could do a flip in real life. Am I right? I'm sure that um, you guys, um, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that you guys have all had your caffeine fix this morning. I know last night was a late night. Many of you had to work. Um, so I'm sure you got your fixes. You got, you have your, you've gotten your fix in the morning. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing about, uh, nothing like waking up in the morning. What a drag. That's why you need caffeine caffeine fix right all right all right let's get back to the discussion we were discussing my window my nice new big window that had curtains and what is behind me that is another window that can open let's how big do we think this can be what potential views could be out there? Oh my gosh, this is like my sixth, seventh day here. What am I doing when I come home? What do I do? Where do I go? And what should I do about it? Let me know in the comment section. I have a poll going uh, about when you would like me to release these vlogs, at what time um, that you could watch me. Um, play my games on twitch.tv um, what time is just best for you guys when when you guys want to stream stream in um, I'll be sure to um, put a lot of good content content out there because um, I've really been working on my gaming a lot recently and so I would like you guys to um, check me out on uh, twitch and also when do you want to tune into these um, just maybe you could set aside an hour every day. Um, and I know that some of you already do do that. Um, and who I'm talking about there are my loved ones, my family, and my friends. Um, and I actually want to say to just my friends in particular that um, I love you guys. You guys are my best friends. And um, I really don't know what I uh, would do without you. You guys are just so nice to me, so kind. Um, you're my support system. And I talked to my sponsor about you guys uh, pretty frequently, and he said that um, your support system is actually something to be cherished and savored, and uh, you really got to uh, synergize with the whole team, and you have to really um, not be afraid um, to um, express how you feel, and just to um, listen, listen empathetically uh, without the intent to respond, and also. Um, Another thing that my sponsor has really told me, um, or in, influenced um, through me, is actually what I want to uh, tell you guys about. It's actually um, called um, The Seven Habits of Success. And it's really changed my life, and I really don't know what I um, would, where I'd be without it. I would just be home. So thank God, um, I just want to thank God that um, he, he sent... Um, LVC to come get me in America and to send me out here to learn about um, all these new things that have really changed who I am. I've got a lot of great goals now. Um, I want to get a job, um, for one, 
and I want to um, really enjoy the job. And I want to have it number one, I want to be proactive. And what do you guys think that means? What's being proactive? I see some of you are typing. Yes, one of you said, I don't know. Is it when we're sad? No, actually no. Um, being proactive is actually um, just when we are happy. It's about um, confidence and it's about um, faking it till you make it and it is about um, just wearing that smile um, upside down to turn that upside down and you uh, really become um, proactive after that your smile is so white so so white and um, also that leads me to habit number two which is um, here let me guys show you it's actually um, in my backpack they um, gave us this really cool binder that um, really um, helps us to organize our lives um, let me just come over here to the what I like to call the little nook here we go Alright, here we are. Here we are in the nook. Ha 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 ha. Alright. Here we are. In my nook. Here we are. What is this? Out of here. Alright. Oh my god, did I tell you guys about my nice new textbooks that, my nice new textbook that I got from LVS, I'm LVC, excuse me, sorry. No, I didn't? Wow. Wow. This is my first textbook that I want to show you guys. It's called, can you see it? The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Oh my gosh, here's a bug. Okay, now that that's settled. Um, take two. This is the first book that I wanted to tell you guys about. It's called The Seven habits of highly successful people. So I want to read you my daily plan. I'm going to wake up every day at 6 a.m. and no matter how hard I want to stay in bed, um, I will always remember what Sean F. Covey uh, said to me, I'll never forget this guy actually, that um, how many times, um, how many times, um, how, how many times do you need to fill up your tank and you um, choose not to? Isn't that so smart? He said, um, say you run out of gas, you're going to fill up with gas. Right? You understand? Yes, he said, no matter how, how, no matter how many times you no matter how many times you fill down, I mean you, that you need to fill up. How many, no matter how no matter how many no matter how many times no matter how many times um sorry you lost my train of thought.
no matter how many times you need to fill it up, you're always going to. Because why wouldn't you fill up your tank when it needed it? So what he's saying there is that you also have to fill up your tank every single day. So, yeah. So that's 6 a.m. every single day. Um, and actually this reminded me of the other day when I was um, going through my plan. Um, and um, I was working out in the morning and I remembered that I needed to apologize to my wife. Um, and I read that after um, my 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. block, which is reading one hour of inspiring literature. And when I was reading that, I um, realized that um, I realized that I realized that I realized that I needed to actually apologize to my wife uh, for something that I said last night. You know how that happens. Is anyone married? Uh huh. Married, married. Nice. Great comments, guys. Great comments. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I said that. You're right. Okay, alright. Not on here, not on here, not on here. Not on here. Alright, I'll text you. I'll text you. Okay. Leave them. Delete, delete these. Delete these comments. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he gone? Yes. Okay. I was saying that um, 